FLIR has the widest selection of thermal cameras in the world. The variety is great, but sometimes it can make picking a camera a little confusing. All of these cameras do the same basic thing. They capture thousands of real-time non-contact temperature measurements and display that information as a picture that you can use to find and diagnose problems. So how do you know which camera is right for you? There are lots of things that go into that answer, but it's really all about how you will use the camera and what you plan to do with it. Will most of your inspections be indoors and looking at things at close range? Or will you be working in larger, more open areas and inspecting small components from farther away? Will you be using your camera to do short spot checks or longer, more detailed inspections? How often do you think you'll use the camera? A few times a week or a few times a month? What kinds of reports will you need to generate? Some thermographers rarely create reports, while others routinely generate detailed reports that assist repair crews. All of these things can play a role in getting the right camera for you. An I or E series will probably give you all of the tools you'll need if you'll only be using your camera periodically or for short inspections. If you do inspections more often, you'll need the expanded functions of an E series or T series. Because of its optional long-range lenses, the T-Series is the right camera if you're looking at small objects from far away. Most importantly, the T-Series ergonomics are a must if you do long, detailed inspections of large facilities or if you need to inspect components in hard-to-reach spaces. E and T-Series are also the cameras to choose if you need a video camera along with your thermal imager. Radiometric thermal video can be a powerful tool for process control work and many other product development applications. And it's also a great way to market your services to new customers. So if you think you'll have the opportunity to help out other departments, or if you'd like to use thermal video to promote your business, a T-Series might be your best bet. If your thermal camera needs to meet specific regulatory standards like ResNet, you'll need at least a higher-end I-Series, but probably an E-Series. Often, the right camera is actually a mix of cameras, with each technician carrying an I-Series for on-the-spot inspections and an E-Series or T-Series camera being reserved for more in-depth analysis by trained thermographers. Most people find lots of ways to use their cameras they hadn't initially considered, so remember to buy a system that gives you some room for growth. In the end, the best way to find the right camera for your business, your application, and your budget is to talk to a FLIR representative or reseller. We can go through all of these questions with you.